Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel, Salavi Tarot here. Let's see what is going on at this time, okay? Um, so I'm going to call this the lover's journey, okay? And I just thought of this today, so I was like, all right, let's do it, all right? So this is going to be a general reading if you are dealing with somebody and um, you're just possibly interested in where it's going, take what resonates, okay? And um, like, of course, if you are resonating with this or if you just like the content and if you're interested in a personal reading all of my information is below my emailed the best way to get to me honestly is my email guys um and you could follow me on instagram as well all right so let's just see what's going on at this time with my subscribers like what's taking place with this person that they may be thinking about what's going on with this energy at this time What is the message for my subscribers for their highest good and love? Untouchable and regrets. Twin flame. <laughs> Very strong. Okay, guys, so clearly this may be a connection at this time. I feel like whoever you may be dealing with, I feel like someone here is, mm, for some of you guys, there may be an energy of separation at this time, right? Where we may not be speaking or we may not be in communication, okay? But I do feel like someone here is regretting um, some of their actions. They're regretting the way that they went about things, right? They're regretting the the way they've treated the one, I would say. Okay. I feel like someone here is feeling like, honestly, ever since this situation, I haven't really been able to open up to anybody. I haven't been able to really step into a place where now I'm allowing myself to be vulnerable at this time. Okay. I do feel like a lot of you guys may be in this place where I don't know if anybody could replace this connection, okay? And I feel like your person's feeling like this more so, okay? Whether they've moved on or not, but someone here is feeling like, I haven't had this feeling since I've been with you, right? Although I may not reach out, I feel like there's a lot of disappointments and there's a lot of heartbreak and betrayal that was... um applied to this connection okay we're gonna dig a little deeper and see what's going on here um and see how your person's feeling um what the actions that they're planning to take and things like that okay so let's just get into their thoughts a little bit here what their thoughts person's thoughts okay we have st there's still hope okay so this person here is still thinking that all right there's a chance that we are going to reconnect there's a chance that we're going to speak again however I'm holding myself back for whatever reason it may be, guys. And you know your person, right? This person's holding themselves back. And I feel like you may be doing so as well. Like, I'm not going to reach out to you again, right? I'm not going to try to break the ice again. But I feel like someone here feels like they've knocked love down, right? Like, you knocked me down. And I'm not too sure if we could fix this. I'm not too sure if this is something that we could do again possibly under di different circumstances but i really feel like you let me down so i feel like someone is just feeling like i'm not able to really touch this i'm not really able to approach this because of what happened but um i feel like a lot of you guys may be feeling this way now moving forward this person here in this energy whoever this person is that's in this place of torture um i feel like they truly want to reach out they truly want to say something but how do i how do i fix this right how do I eventually now put my pride down and open up, all right? Lust. So we have a strong energy of lust coming in here as well, all right? Now, for some of you guys, you're thinking like this person possibly used me, this person possibly is a player, or this person is just out there doing their thing, playing the field to some extent, okay? But for some of you guys, yeah, I feel like this person, again, is up to a lot of things or um, just really not playing it safe I would say so for some of you guys you know how this person is if it doesn't resonate with you don't take it but I do feel like someone here is in a very lustful energy where they're just trying to just you know put themselves out there again but there's really no connection and that could be you 
All right. And I feel like for some of you too, as well, I feel like there's a lot of people that are trying to connect with you and you're feeling like mm, it's forbidden. Like I really don't want to just have this mm, false connection. Like it's really not going anywhere, right? I'm connecting with you, but I still have someone on my mind. Okay. Whatever that may mean for some of you guys. So let's dig deeper and see what's going on currently. Let's see what this regret energy is about. But again, guys, your person here is feeling like there's still hope. There is still hope. But I tortured this relationship. I abandoned this relationship, right? I played this relationship. And I feel like there was like a breaking point. Someone decided to just stop trying. Okay? Give me something for my regret energy, please. Thank you. Wow. Ten of Cups. Yeah. Lots of regret, guys. And I know for some of you guys, again, take this how this resonates, but you're dealing with someone that really feel like they blew something really good. Okay? I didn't work on this. I didn't I didn't bring my best self forward here. I wasn't honest. Okay, moving forward here, there's a lot of regret, guys. This may be on you or this person, but someone's feeling like they truly messed something up that was going to um, prosper, okay? I regret not working on it. I regret not loving you. I regret not being real, right? Because I feel like whoever you are connecting with, I feel like whoever this person is, they know that you gave them your best, right? I gave my best self here. Um, Again, like I said, for some of you too, is what I'm hearing, I regret not focusing on myself, okay? I regret turning my back on my family. Someone here turned their back on a family here, walked out on somebody here, and I feel like, again, like this is something that is really, really, really bothering this person, okay? I should have, I should have spoken up. I should have acted different here, Okay? Now, again, there was someone here that was just, eh, I keep getting this energy. It's like I was just being a fool to some extent. I was playing around with this connection, okay? For some of you guys, this person was very in and out. This person was unstable, right? We talked about a family. We talked about so many great things. We felt that connection. This could have went or this could have been something beautiful, but someone here decided to torture the relationship, okay? sabotage this relationship so let's see what we could um pull out of this energy here moving forward moving forward strong regrets though guys you know whether you see it or not i feel like this is something that this person's possibly not talking about right or i'm not going to tell you that i feel like i'm wrong i'm not going to admit to that right now right because i'm so prideful which is why I possibly haven't really reached out because there's nothing much I could say without you actually realizing that I may not be honest or things like that. This person feels like you possibly don't trust them anymore. Okay, thank you. Moving forward. Mm. For a lot of you guys, I will say this connection, you're also dealing with someone here that knows that at some point, right, at some point we're going to have to speak. At some point, we're going to have to speak. At some point, I'm going to have to reveal these these emotions here. Could be dealing with a Pisces. I didn't want to talk about signs, but this Pisces energy just jumped out here. At some point, we're going to have to talk because I feel like this person knows that you're hurting. I know I hurt you. I know I betrayed you here, okay? But I feel like for some of you guys... <sighs> Thank you. Yeah. Now, for some of you guys, I will say this person comes in at some point as um, tiptoeing into the relationship, right? Tiptoeing just to test out the waters. Like, I just want to see how you are feeling. I want to see how you feel about me. I want to see if you still care about me, okay? Because I feel like this person comes in wanting to approach you with this energy of a check-in. Okay, this person could be watching you. This person could be inquiring about you. But I just want to check in. Okay, I don't want you to reject me. I just want things to be balanced here. Give me some more moving forward. What could they expect with this connection? Mm. Hierophant here. 
stability okay someone comes in here very very stable i will say though um whether this is you or your person okay subscribers someone here is still in this energy of holding back why why am i still holding back i'm still holding back because i possibly don't trust you I'm still holding back because I'm still healing. I'm still holding back because I'm not too sure where I went wrong in this relationship. I'm still in this energy of possibly still fearing, okay? I feel like someone here is still a bit worried and concerned. Like, I'm not too sure if I am able to open up here, okay? Take this how this resonates. Whoever this may be, I feel like it's like, mm -mm, no, I don't think this is the best um, move for me here okay very guarded now I feel like again what I what I will say is there is um, a possibility that for some of you guys there was some sort of communication that came in very lightly but I feel like someone here was still holding back as if I just did a pop in right as I still watch you as I still inquire about you but I'm still running Okay, for whatever reason, I'm still running. I'm still running because I'm still trying to deal with a family situation. I'm still running because of my pride. I'm still running because I'm unsure of what I truly want, right? I'm still holding on to this energy of I don't want to be vulnerable because I can't handle the things that you're going to say to me. I can't handle the truth about how I betrayed you. I can't handle the truth of how I'm constantly just not being my best self, okay? So I feel like someone here, again, with this energy of regret that's strong here, it's like, I'm just going to try to move forward as, much, as best as I can. As best as I can. Or that's what it comes off like. Comes off like, I'm solid, I'm fine, I'm okay. I'm okay without you. Okay? I'm walking away here. I'm fed up. I feel like this may be you here where it's like I'm, although you are in this place of still holding back, I'm choosing to walk away because I am tired, right? I'm a bit tired. As much as I love you, I'm out, like I'm done in, in terms of endurance. I really held on to this for a long time, okay? But I feel like as you guys walk away, there's a very strong energy of this person coming in here with the Two of Cups, okay? For some of you, this may be a new energy that comes in for you, but I feel like this person comes in wanting to revitalize this connection, start this connection over, okay? I feel like it's once you start giving up, giving up on trying, giving up on helping, giving up on holding this person's hand, packing your bags and just departing i feel like someone comes in okay whether it's this person or not i feel like someone comes in for you here and for some of you guys this may just be you really connecting with your inner self again at this time right where this is what i need to do right and it brings in happiness for me it brings in a new beginning for me here i'm going after what i feel is happiness Okay, because I feel like you guys are realizing like, you know, as much as I love this person, this person's in this place, whether they're healing, whether they're still figuring, figuring themselves out, timing was just not right here. Okay, but I feel like for a lot of you guys, whether this is, took place already or it hasn't, once you turned your back, something beautiful comes in here. Very, very, very beautiful, very intense here but i feel like there's fear around it to some extent there's fear but i'm going towards it either way fear is not going to stop me i don't feel like you're going to allow this energy to stop you at all okay i'm not going to let this stop me i can't i can't do that give me some messages for this connection please give me some messages for this connection What are the messages, please, for this, the lovers here? Lover's journey. Thank you. Well, <laughs> I tell you, this is so beautiful. I know we have a soul connection. Okay? This person knows this. They understand this they feel it and that's why this energy of 
torturing and holding back and constantly looking at what they've done in the past. There's a lot of remorse, whether, you know, some of you may say, I don't see it, but sometimes we don't talk about our deepest feelings and sometimes we don't express our deep feelings. But I know we have a connection. That's why you could still feel me, okay, from afar. Okay, I will talk to you guys soon. Have an amazing one. And if you guys are interested in a personal reading, my information is below. I love you guys. Thank you.